No sport in the low country gives more back than the sport of golf. Busy again this past weekend, Catherine Madaman has more. Hi, I'm Catherine Manning with WHHI-TV, and we are at the Port Royal Golf Club. They are hosting Hilton Head's Home Builders Association Golf Tournament. It's a special tournament because they are raising dollars for their scholarship funds, and there are lucky recipients of the local community who have received them. As you see behind me, they have a shotgun start, and it's exciting. Let's go find out the details. I'm with Meg James, who is the executive officer of the Hilton Head Home Builders Association. Yes. What an affair we have going on this tournament. Tell me first about the tournament. Of course. So this is our 29th annual Builders Cup Golf Tournament. We're here at Port Royal Golf Club, and it's a sold-out event. We, it's probably our largest tournament that we've ever hosted. We have 288 players. We play Robbers Row and Barony courses here at the Port Royal Golf Club. So 144 players on each course. It's huge. We've got... Uh, another hundred between our sponsors and volunteers. So there's a ton of folks here uh, that just set out to start their golf game for the day. We've been here for several years, as long as I've been with the HBA, which was 2013. So at least that long. I've watched all the uh, volunteers running around. Um, how many do we have? At least 75 today. Um, yeah, and we are grateful for that. Our membership really shows up to help us um, sponsor, donate, and then their time is, is as well, volunteering. Today. Well, I was looking at your program, yeah. <laughs> and I can see you have a lot of sponsors yeah, as well. So many, yes. um, how many sponsors do you have? So many unique sponsorships. So we've got golf ball sponsors. We have towel sponsorships. SB Lumber and PGT Windows and Doors is our presenting sponsor again this year, which we're grateful to have them. Um, and then we've got uh, probably another 100 or so and it's all different levels. So if somebody just wants to do a whole sponsorship and have their company represented on one of the tee boxes, um, we've got that. So something that, you know, as small as that or as big as our presenting sponsorship. So uh, this is the largest building industry golf tournament in the region, really. And then it's also our second largest fundraising event for our education foundation. And we simply raise money to give away scholarships to local graduating seniors that are going on to continue their education. We don't limit it. Um, if they're going to a four-year college, that's great. If they're um, going into a technical school or maybe a trade certification, um, we accept applications for all of that. It's not limited just to the construction industry either. So we're hoping to raise maybe about five, six thousand, seven thousand here today. Um, typically at our uh, ho or our hoedown, we raise about 10,000. So if today we can bring in seven, that'll just help us. We like to give away $3,500 scholarships so that it's a nice chunk of change that's really helpful because the cost of education is, is so expensive. There's boarding, there's books, there's they got to feed themselves. So whatever we can do to ease that burden, um, we're hoping to do here today. We're here with Brandon Edwards, who's the golf committee chair. And I want to ask you, what makes this tournament so special? I think uh, the special meaning behind this tournament is allowing all the members of the Home Builders Association to come together, be able to network, have a good time, relax outside of, the, outside of your normal nine to five work days or work weeks and just have a good interaction with everybody. Yes, there is a, a good uh, sense of community within the association. I think that's what part of the Home Builders is about, to bringing all the people who have a kind um, and general sense of uh, the building atmosphere, building uh, specialty of what they do to bring in together and have a good time. So this for the Education Foundation, which is a Home Builders uh, sponsored uh, foundation, scholarship foundation, um, and we give out uh, scholarships every year to uh, rising high school seniors going on to their college education, and we do about anywhere from eight to 12 uh, scholarships a year, ranging in dollar amounts depending on how much the foundation raises. So this is a, a huge part of our uh, fundraising benefits for that. I am with Team Armor, who is for the golf tournament. Gentlemen, you're all in your team apparel. You're ready to go. So what is it about the tournament that you like? Well, there's a lot of uh, activities that take place here. Uh, first and foremost, it's for the charities. That's extremely important to Armor Building Solutions and uh, the camaraderie and being able to mingle with people, or your peers that are in the same business that you are, makes for a fun event. I want to introduce you to Hannah Manley, who is a student at which school? May River High School. Now, you're also applying for the scholarship that we are talking about today. Tell me a little bit about you and the scholarship. 
So I'm very excited to apply for this scholarship. Um, I'm looking to study nursing when I go to college next year. Um, this scholarship is really going to help me in my family situation, and I'm just very thankful for everyone who's supporting it and providing the money to support all these kids who are in need. I'm with Melissa Brock, who is the co-chair for the Education Committee for this tournament. So tell me about the process. Uh, well, for the um, Home Builders Association Education Foundation, we um, support the Home Builders Association with our commission, and we um, provide deserving seniors scholarships uh, when they go off to college. In an applicant, we're looking for, um, of course, um, how well they do in school, um, community service, some organizations that they're a part of, um, their work experience, um, and motiv motivation and, and excited to start the next chapter of their life. Well, we always want to raise as much as we can. Um, if we can raise anywhere from um, five to 15,000 today, um, that would be great. Hopefully the rain will stay away, but rain or shine, it's going to be a good day for the Home Builders Association. As you can see, this event has brought the community together, and we really want to wish the recipients of the scholarships a lot of luck in their future. Back to you.